Hi, I'm Jennifer Chalky, plant disease diagnostician with DuPont Pioneer. Let's look at spider mite injury on soybean leaves. With hot, dry weather, spider mites can cause quite a bit of damage to soybean leaves that might look a bit like this. We see some yellowing, some almost what I would say looks a lot like mottling on the leaf. Might initially be confused with some symptoms we might expect from a virus that could occur on soybean. One thing you can do is flip those leaves over and look at the underside for the presence of spider mites and or the evidence that they've been there. Um, we can see some white kind of coloration on the leaf underside. That would be some of the webbing that the spider mites produce, as well as some of their cast skins or just some of their um, dead bodies actually on the leaf surface. I will tell you that sometimes um, a good infield diagnostic for spider mite injury is to take these leaves and kind of tap them on top of a, a white sheet of paper and look for little tiny spider mites to be scurrying around on the paper. Now that can work if you've got live spider mites causing the, the, um, the injury, but it could be that in this case, when I looked at this sample, the spider mites were pretty much all dead or had already done the damage. So you might need to look a little bit closer actually at the leaf surface for evidence that they've been there, such as those cast skins that I mentioned, um, the stippling on the leaf, little frass from their feeding, and, and also um, some eggs that might be left behind as well. A hand lens could help you with that. If you're not sure about a spider mite um, diagnostic in the field, you can always send a sample to a plant disease diagnostic lab that could help you with that diagnosis.